Hello friends, in today's session, I am going to explain you about Azure Compute Galleries. So in this session, I am going to explain you how to create Azure Compute Galleries and what is used. Okay. For example, you need to create 100 VMs, like you need to build 100 VMs with the same image configuration. Image means your OS, I, in, when I am talking image, image means your OS, OS means same configuration. Same configuration means, uh, if, I if I can say in a basic uh, level, like uh, you need in all the 100 VMs, uh, like same user, you need on a all the 100 VMs, like same U mask, same it is a resolve dot config, like that. So like, you know, no need to create and go and create all the VMs. So when, uh, when you want to build your VM, automatically it will come all this information, all the VMs. Okay. So how to do? So in here, I'm going to show you, you can create the custom image and then you through that you can build your image, like build your VMs. Okay. So first, first you are, what you have to do in Azure, you have to create one compute galleries in Azure. If you search here, you know, compute in the search section, you will get this, uh, sorry, okay, one second. Compute galleries. Ah, see, if you type here compute gallery, it will come this option. You can click on this. So you will get like a screen like this. Then you now you can create here. Uh, you can click on create okay once you click on the create you have to fill the basic information okay so subscription obviously you s you need to select your subscription then resource group okay if you have existing resource group then you can select that one or if you want to create new resource group then you click on this so in my case i'm going to select my old resource group okay so um, i'm selecting this then you can give the name, any name. So I'm giving, for example, test image, for example. Then region you have to select. So in my case, Central India, I will select this. Description, which purpose you're going to create, you can add. Uh, in my case, I'm uh, not filling anything. I can keep it blank. Now then next so here like sharing method these kind of things you have to fill so you can go and read this option as in my case i will keep this role base access okay then tag if you want to add in you can add the tag also i will i am not going to add any tag and then click on the next so you can see well your validation is a pass if you giving the any wrong information then validation will be failed. You will get here a uh, red color message. Okay. Now you now you can cl click on the create. So it will take a uh, few minutes to create. Few minutes it will take. You can see here de uh, deployment e is in progress. Okay. So we have to wait. For, okay. Okay. So let let uh, this create. Okay, already now it's created here. Now click on the go to resource. If you click on the go to resource, you can see my test image name is coming the test image. Okay. The gallery, my gal this is my gallery name, test image. Okay. Now, so first what you have to do, you have to create one VM. Okay. So in my case, I have one like my VM. So let me uh, click on the start. So this is a very useful when you're doing the, uh, you know, day to day task in a support. So like suppose you need to create the 10 VMs at a time. So you can keep that uh, you, you build your uh, custom image as per your requirement. Okay, you you do the customization and then keep it in a gallery. When you creating a VM, when you're building a VM, then you select that image, okay? 
for example uh, you need some 8 dot uh, red hat version 8.6 dot six some you need 8.8 .8. okay so you, you that's why so you you can do the customize your own uh, own requirement okay so now you can see this this is my VM so in my in this VM let me connect here let me type my username let me type the password okay this is created so now let me switch to root first okay so here now i'm creating user test okay and then let me add the password so now i added the password also here you can say successfully so for example i was just want to show you here i i'm going to add this user test user so when i will build my vm this user should be available okay in that vm also so in the, this way you can do whatever you is a requirement like you need uh, 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 like resolve.conf you need to add the dns you sshd conf you need maybe different port and different uh, uh, like you know method root password uh, like disable those kind of things so as per your requirement you can customize that one in this vm so what you have to do you have to first you create the vm okay and that vm you have to do all the changes whatever your requirement so you, in my case you can see this is my vm and here i'm creating this user in your case you, when you creating the vm in that vm you have to change the all the requirement whatever you need okay on that vm once done then go to the again azure portal and then uh, stop that vm so this is my vm i am going to uh, click on the stop okay so vm should be power of when you going to take the when you going to capture that image okay so it's now at once okay so i think it's running let 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 let, let me refresh So, in for example, I just created a user, but in your case, you can do whatever your requirement. Okay. Now you can see it's a, a status is a stop and deallocated. Now what you have to do, you can click on that. You can see here this option cap capture image. You can see here. So click on this. Once you click on this, you can see it's saying create an image. So I'm going to create image with this VM in your case where you do the where you uh, did the changes in that vm you shut down the vm and then you click on click on the create image here again of course by default subscription will be will come by default here uh, like you have to cli click on the resource group and then region okay fine then you ha here share so you can see here share image to azure uh, compute gallery here two option you can you able to see here first is telling yes share it a gallery as a image version for example like you wants to control as a version control like uh, image one you changes something now you upgrading something okay and then you have to keep it in a version two so like that so the version control you want to that one or no you don't want to any version you just keep it as a image that one so then you select the no option okay here if you want like any zone specific that that you can select here but in my case i'm not going to select in this any option here by default then image that name what name you want to keep so i can keep like this if you want you can delete here and you can keep your name so in my case if you see here it's a coming my vm name and then image and date so in your case you if you want to give some specification name you can give that one then click on the tag if you want to give any tag you can give it then review 
so it's a now you can say validation so validation is a pass again if you giving any wrong information well vali your validation will be fail it will come message in a red color here okay now i'm clicking here so now you can see here it's in a progress deployment in a progress so i have to wait for some time of course so this is a pay uh, like you know uh, like uh, you have to pay for this uh, service when you using uh, azure gallery okay so i think it will not that much charge so you can check in internet it is a list only as per your uh, how much you using the resource uh, size according to that okay now you can see here um, uh, my deployment is completed now i will go to the resource so here you can see my image all the information are available here everything is here correct now let me go to the let me take this copy leave it like this let me open in a new tab here then i will go to the home then i will click on the virtual machine so till now what we uh, what i did i created the gallery account and then i created one vm so in, in my case already that vm was there then in that vm i customize whatever the requirement okay then i stop the vm and then i taken the image correct now i am going to build the vm with that image which one i just now i taken custom image correct so now what i have to do here i click virtual machine now a click create click on the create here you, you can see here uh, subscription that resource group i can will take the this one virtual machine name i can give the test vm region okay leave it ability zone not required i will give not then security type i can get leave it like this and then i will click on the see all image let, let me click on the share image my image okay so here okay so see in image section you have to click on so once you going to create your vm right then in image section you have to click on the see all image okay and then you can click on the my image so you can see this is my image which one i just now created right and click on this so now you can see it's coming here and then 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 then, then okay this is my username i will keep it as username like this then i will add here some user sorry sorry let me add a username a new user and then let me add the password okay so i given the password also here now okay leave it this by default license type red hat enterprise os disk if you want to change anything here you can change it like you can if you want to change here that disk information you can click on that here and i will go to select uh, a standard hdd because it is a low price then let me click on the next networking part i will not touch anything as of now i will take the all by default everything let me click here so this i think you guys know that how to fill this if you want to uh like how to create azure vm let me know then i will create one more vi video okay so my validation is a pass now let me click on the create okay so it's uh, in a deployment in a progress so my basic motive is like i want to show you 
uh, like you know when you're doing in a uh, uh, like uh, daily work in a support and you need, need you need to build the vm multiple vms with the same configuration okay then you this is a very easy way you just create the custom image and you just when you trying to build through the automation or manual whatever you just select that image and then you create the vm so it will be reduce the time okay so deployment is a progress i have to wait for some time remember here we created this user test user here so it should be come by default here okay and uh, please i'm requesting you all of you please subscribe my channel if you like this kind of video share it like it and your comments always so now you can see deployment completed so now i'm going to click on the go to resource it's running let me take the ip let me come out here let me new session click on the new session ssh post let me give the ip let me log in with okay id so you can see is it now this user came by default here for for testing purpose i just want to show you only one uh, like how to do in your case maybe you have like multiple things right i i said like you mass you so uh, resolve.com sshd uh, os version any uh, like uh, many more correct so like that you can do the customization and then you you build the uh, uh, vms through the automation and manually so it will reduce the time okay so i hope uh, you like this video and yeah more one more thing so once done once you created the vm let me go to the again virtual machine here okay so once you create once you did the uh, you know customization if you don't want to keep this vm you just delete it not required if you wants to you know like in a for future if you wants to know do you you need to do the any uh, modification anything then you in that time you can keep it that vm otherwise not required you can delete this vm okay if you deleting this vm then also that your image will be available it will not like that if you deleting the vm then your image will be lost not not like that okay so i hope uh, you like this video so again i am requesting you all of you so please subscribe my channel like it like and comment thanks thanks for your watching